Dang, phonu muscle memory made me hit B instead of two. God, it's so much easier. That should be enough. Did that wrong. Hey, melon breads. Thanks for blessing the run, Diley. So that's how you know I'm rusty. Only a 257 stacking. My lady luck wasn't great, but yeah, whatever. We're not resetting. I don't actually care what the time is. That's what we bought telepipes for. Though, honestly, I guess I should have stacked telepipes. Better than play, praying for busters at the uh, at the two and three hour mark. Probably, definitely. There's nothing quite like losing a run of episode to all difficulties because busters won't show up for like five minutes. Wow. I kind of thought I'd get through on that one, honestly. Was that an extra pipe? I don't even know. It just felt like I could get through on that one. Epsilon's not in this game. 
There is no way to fight Epsilon. Without going online, which is of course illegal. Yeah, I'll take the free plus disc, thanks. Fuck. Thanks for blessing the run, Drew. Thanks for blessing around the rock. I was on. <laughs> Four on Steve, six on the other two, always three in episode two. Oh, and two in the forest one, one. Definitely just forgot that I should go for early dragon. It's been so long since I've played episode one any percent that honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Also, I was supposed to keep a saber. Didn't do that. There are actually some some waves in episode one where a saber is nice. Technically optimal to use a saber because it moves you forward. I just... My habit from episode two is just, you know, switch equip so that you clear up the slot and then drop the saber because you don't need it. But no, in episode one, there are actually a couple of waves where you do want it. So, oops. That too. That was the right strat. I just missed up, messed up one turn. Eh. Nice.
That was late. That was early. Damn, that was almost perfect. If it had been a heavy, it actually would have been late. Really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Thanks, Froggy. Thank you for blessing the run last, Raven. I do need the rifle there. See, I remembered that I always equipped the rifle, but I was like, do I really need it? And the answer is yes. How about that? Past me did know what he was doing. Who would have thought? You gotta check yourself, though. You can't just assume. And what better time to do that than on a, the first run of a category you don't actually care about? Ah, bad angle. Bro! I swear the angles on my controller are just different. I'm... I don't understand why I'm still facing that direction. What the shit?! <laughs> I swear, they are different. used to be so much easier to make minute adjustments on my aim. You know what's great about episode 190%? Caves 2 literally doesn't matter. This map cannot hurt me. This map means nothing. Nothing! Hold on. I'm not leveling up. Maybe this map can hurt me.
Are you for real? In the end, the traps didn't actually save me any time at all. Because I just forgot to lay it when it was actually meaningful. I needed to lay it as the first spawn, uh, the first slime kind of moved. Then we would have saved a little bit of time. One attack's worth of time. Oh well, chalk that up to episode one, any percent rust. I I don't think I've played any episode one, any percent since I got my all difficulties PB. Which at this point, I don't actually know when that was. But after playing so much episode 2, uh, all difficulties, this is a fucking cakewalk. Doesn't matter that I haven't played it in forever. Hey, Metal Hero Regulus. Of course I am, because I'm using glitches. He's the best glitch class. Thanks for blessing the run. Rangers get access, earliest access to mech guns, and they get access to shots. Which, when you have 1,200 ATP and 700 ATA, are really, 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 really good. But it's also the only ranger that can equip sabers at level 1, which is what you need for ATP. I don't know why that cancelled. Okay. Gross. 
Now, do I remember how to do glitched day roller optimally? Absolutely fucking not. I don't remember the timings at all. I know I can get an early shot here if I time it right. I did not, though. Eh. Four out of six ain't terrible. Had to dodge. Never mind, it is terrible. And a properly executed fight never dodges. Regardless of what you are holding or what your damage rolls are. Just changes the number of hits that it takes to kill. Using my vague recollection of episode 1 any percent, you can get a 9 hit without a crit if you hit all of your shots. And if you can get it, that means you've only you only needed to do three combos, which is really good. A knife. Oh, by the way, my map! Forgot that part. This co this category is the reason this is my map. Oh, really? Oh, that could be mech guns, actually. No, rod. Forgot that that's a thing I need to look for now. Because nobody had, uh, before I started running this game, nobody had um, checked which ones were, which waves were optional and which waves were mandatory. Or how to spawn the trigger wave in this, in this room in particular. And you can save a lot of time on this map just by knowing how to spawn certain waves and which waves you actually have to kill. And as it turns out, in this category, if you execute this well, it's not that much slower than the best map. It is still slower, but it's not that much slower. I think the right one falls first, actually. Yeah. That guns? Why am I even looking? Let's be realistic here. That was unfortunate targeting. Oh well. And one of the tricks here is if you go to this door start that spawn, which is important because it's the one that's closest to you, the wave that's closest to you, that is actually the trigger wave. And then it's the two Canadines. And the Sinnoh Gold. 
And then it's two guild chicks. Not those two. We'll be on the north and south side of the room, floating slightly. And then it's Canadine Ring. And then it's two Sinnohs. Fuck. That damn iframe. Eh, too late. Hey, Yuri. Well, except for the whole getting hit by the Sinnoh thing. That went okay. And this is the best mines, too. Luck-wise, this run is, like, really fucking good. Bro. Execution-wise, however, not very good. I don't remember the proper way to do this wave at all. And there is a proper way. Oh, he's at a range. That's fair. Mech guns? Nope. Mech guns? Nope. Hey, Skippy. Thanks. I have so much inventory space. Nice high roll. I don't remember which one's the set weapon. I think it's the one on the left. Mech guns. Stick. Time that perfectly. Beautiful. I should kill the guild chicks first, not the canadines. What am I doing?
Not that one. Why? Frick you, auto target. It doesn't matter, but like, I'm offended. I want to shoot the target I want to shoot. The one that I'm locked onto. Not the one you think I should be shooting. Man, what a tough boss fight. Damn, no shot. No shot, no mech guns. I guess the good luck comes to an end. Boy, does it. You thought this episode 190% run was good? Ha! Fuck you. This map sucks, in case that wasn't clear. There are only two Bad Ruins 1 maps. This is one of them. Hey, look, mech guns. I was trying to lock onto the claws. My brand. Not the B. Well, that's unfortunate. Thought I had more time than that. Perhaps shot? Nope, partisan. It would be pretty funny if I ran the shot ID and then didn't get a shot until, like, late episode two. It'd be awful, but it'd be funny. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. A set weapon. It is a pole. One of the few times that mech guns is actually technically faster. Ah, frick. Again, smarter positioning here would save me time, but I'm just not practiced. You know what else would save me time? Having a shot. <laughs> but I can help the positioning thing. I can't help the shot thing. But yeah, when you have a solo Belra, or even two Belras in a row, and there is another wave after them, it is faster to use mech guns than use your handgun. But if it's the last wave of the of the room, it's faster to use the auto gun. Handgun, whatever. Frick. Ugh. 
that's because the kill happens faster with the mech guns, but then you are in lag for longer than two handgun shots would have taken. So if you have to wait for the next wave to spawn anyway, then you're not losing anything. Hello, Clawlin. Now, the one thing about getting this map in Glitched is you do get to see the only glitch that isn't, you know, stacking. You can actually walk between these rocks and the wall and just skip opening that gate. Why did I normal attack? That was so wrong. Brand, brand. I'm dedicated. I think it's just two to kill, right? Yeah. Shot! I mean, it's not like you can do it with every rock. So I don't know. I mean, you kind of can. This map is fine, by the way. Oh, if I had lined that up, that would have been faster. I thought I had it lined up, but I was wrong. There are six targets. I can only target five with the shot, so kill one with an auto gun. And the same would be true here, but I should actually not bother. Because I still had the shot on. If I had thought to do it before the wave had spawned, it would have made sense. Uh, can the auto gun reach and run up and do this? I think it'll be a one shot because I've got 20 dark. How are you not getting hit? Oh, the Dell Sabres took my targets. Never mind. That makes sense. Frick, 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 frick. For some reason, I thought there was another wave in there. It's actually been a long time since I've seen this map, and this map's okay. Especially in this category. In this, in this category, this map isn't that bad. 
In the glitchless categories, you know, the fighting's a bit much, and having to chase the gunners around is a pain in the ass. One of the lot of minions got confused. Nice. Uh, you? I think I kill you, and then I can do this. No! I got Dark Gunner priority. Frick. Heck you. Oh, better shot. Potentially. Potentially better shot. Be gone, foul beast. Oh, that was unfortunate. So that's not a guaranteed one shot. It's a better shot. And this is a good map. <laughs> wow. If it weren't for Ruins 1, this would be a genuinely amazing episode 1 any percent time. Oh, frick me. Oh, wow, you spawned fast. I would have waited if I knew known you were going to spawn in that fast. Jeez. Are you fucking kidding me? Frick, 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 frick. Okay, we're good. Terrible execution, but we're good. Should have just used the single target weapon from the start. Speaking of, the next wave is single target waves. Well... It depends where the so Dominion moves. So I think single target's the safer option, but I think shot's actually faster. Barda 7, yeah, alright, whatever. Hello. Oh, why that one? Not cool. Oh, nice one shot. Right, I have 20 dark now. Why the left one? <laughs> Frick you. I could die. That'd be funny. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Well, now I'm afraid. I wasn't afraid, but I am now. Okay. Now I'm not afraid. Zamboni, thank you for the 16 months with Prime Gaming. Enjoy your box. Should have put mech guns in slot one. I forgot. Uh, okay. No! My target was right on them. Come on! What was that? Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> there was no control stick input after that point. Ah, oh, well. Got lucky. Such bullshit. <laughs> 48 for a no reset. Pretty good. It should have been a 47. But that's still a very good time. Oh, I forgot to go for the fucking skips. I forgot that's a thing I can do in this in these categories. Oh, I'm still on message speed very fast. Uh, drop my stuff up here, I suppose. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow. Not really. <laughs> it's a pretty uninteresting category, in my opinion. Which is why I've never done it. Why have I been allowed to keep this camera angle for so long? There we go. It was going so well. I've never been allowed to keep a good camera for that long. You gotta get forced into this shitty one. I should have checked for brands first. I'm fucking stupid. Never punished. I messed up a stack, though. Did I just re-mess up? Interesting.
All right. Wait a second. Hmm. Whatever. Okay. We got the good temple alpha. Wow. Okay. Cool, cool. I don't have my mag on right now. Best part about running this as opposed to regular episode 20 percent the void traps can't kill me. What a glorious day. See, that sounds even less interesting. Donkey Kong Country 2 is a video game. You are welcome. Oh, really? Dang it. In higher difficulties, you the Lauda minions or Merlins move fast enough that you can just run to the other side and then use your shot to clean them up, but not in this difficulty. Actually, I think Autogun's still faster. Not for this one, though. Money grinder. Put that on our mech guns. Yeah.
And we got the good temple beta as well. Dang. next actually there aren't many uses for mech guns outside of bosses maybe should annihilate Barbaray but this is one of them it's much faster to do six hits via mech guns than anything else I have AB smack guns, don't I? Yeah. Barbara Ray is so dead. Extra dead. Really? Targeting lied to me. I'm mad about it. I should have known better, though. I feel like there's spacing there where I can hit all of those targets. Maybe not. Maybe not the lily at the far end, but everything except the lily at the far end I should be able to do. I got caught. Oh. Okay. Scattering like that doesn't help you. I gotta wait for the Mones to die anyway. You aren't slowing me down at all. Dang, that only hit the two. I was trying to hit the Lily as well. Whatever.
Yeah, and I definitely do not remember the optimal way to get mech gun hits in on Barbaray already. Thanks, Zetonegi. He's dead. <laughs> Fuck. I needed to not have my photon blast right now. Well. Even without knowing the timing, I've just got so much strength right now that it does not matter. Oh, heck. I always forget that they're that far in. I feel like they should be further in. I don't actually know. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was going to one-shot or not. Because I'm stronger than I would normally be in an any percent run by a, a fair bit. This is actually kind of awkward. Because if I don't kill the pan arms in one hit, they'll split and I'll lose a bunch of time. It's time to run the gauntlet. Oh, did a bad job. I'm going to pray this is enough. It was. How are you not dead? Hi, friend. I forgot that you spawned exactly in the middle, if I'm being completely honest. Thank you. 
Oh, wow, that's not a one-hit kill. That's crazy. We got the good spaceship beta, too. Ah, oh, frick. No. I was trying to get all of them, but it's not an easy angle to get. Should have killed those guys first. Too bad, though. Should also stay on the west side of that room. But if I had, I would have been hit by the wolves. If I had shot the guild chicks first and stayed on the west side, I definitely would have been hit by the wolves. Okay. Oops. I'm invincible, just in time for the Void Trap. Perfect. Nice. Should have picked that up. Oh well, too late. I wish I could remember the timings for hitting the Gall Dragon's wing. Because if I could, I could probably cancel the first phase mid breath attack. Ted, we gotta wait for him to teleport. Yeah, I definitely could have. I don't think he can kill me even if he does hit me when I hit the fall, so I'm just gonna run under him. 
didn't even hit me. Thanks, Ellie. I needed that whole debriefing. What kind of mountain do we get? A good one. Neat. I think you're an extra, but I'll kill you anyway. Stop it! <laughs> He's just wasting maximum amount of time moving as fast as possible at the max distance. You thought. Do I even need the mech gun? I probably don't. Yo, same. I still waste large chunks of my life on this game. Speed running in. Felidae, thank you for gifting a sub to Blue. Blue, congrats on being stuffed into a box. Currently, I'm wasting my life on this category, which I have never done before because it always seemed just a little too easy and not very interesting. And that's so far how it's playing out. Oh my god. Right now, there's no reason for me to do a second run of this. Like, ever. We'll see how Seabed goes, but... At current pace, I really don't give a shit to ever do this again. <laughs> this is pretty fucking good. Normal mode. Yeah, speedruns all start with a new character, so they all start in normal mode. 
You can go into higher difficulties in all difficulties runs, but those take too long. Didn't have time for that today. Oh, really? Well, if you're using glitches like I am, you don't need to be worried about surviving, really. You only need to survive the slash, and then you'll be able to out DPS before the grants happens. Uh, which you can sometimes do with just you abusing invincibility from photon blasts. It's not 100%, though. Um, and for glitchless characters, you can just grind. It is theoretically possible to do all difficulties glitchless in, like, a day. It's just nobody really wants to do that. I'm not built to play games for more than, like, four hours at a time. I can't do a 24-hour stream. This is a good map. Okay, well, let's keep it rolling. Is that the Merlia? Why didn't you get hit? Anyway, you can't fool me. I know that the next wave is over here. Nice try. I should have auto-gunned that. Shot was actually slower. Oh well. Too late. shot in the previous half of that wave was correct. But that wave, it was directly behind me in the direction I needed to go. Yeah, the Grants is the biggest HP check. Hard mode Grants. Very hard slash can also be a problem. What the fuck? I know I was slow, but geez. Oh, hello. All right, let's see if I can do this on the first try. Oh, for f it's impossible to get that thing on the first pass. You gotta loop, I swear. Oh, this is awkward. Perfectly in sync. I couldn't actually get between them. Whatever. Olga Flow, just in general, uh, does way too much damage.
Oh boy. Get out of the way. Thanks for blessing around me, Dukun. Interesting. Howdy, Shen. You don't die in one hit? Wow. I've been all right. Shot. Oh, I'm aiming too low. That was cutting it pretty close. Why the traps? Frick you. All because of trap priority. This one spawns first, right? Okay, and then the one closer to the door spawns next. Hooray! I remember things sometimes. Oh, well... Didn't make it through. Damn. The damage fall off. Hey, Blue. Nice box. I haven't run Gotcha Force in many, many years. But I did run Gotcha Force. And it is an awesome game. Speedrun's cool. But there's a lot of randomness, and it gets pretty repetitive. No, shit. It was a ton of fun to route, though. Ow. There's been a reroute slightly. There's been a route adjustment in the last year? Question mark? I'm not really sure how much faster the actual route is. Though he had some good ideas. And there might be, like, one mechanic that I didn't think of. So I might need to look at it again. Because I don't think what they're currently doing is the fastest way to apply what they're doing. But I, I won't know until I look at it. Which, who knows when that'll be! Uh, yeah, section ID determines, like, some of the uh, the drops. It determines what your rare drops are, which, in the context of these runs, mostly means trimates, soul itemizers. Um, but it also determines the weight of what kind of weapons you get. Like, I am Feridia because it has the highest chance of getting a shot, which I want as early as possible.
Please be the good map. Yes. We're never doing this run again. I don't even care that the execution wasn't that good. This run's ridiculous. Redria is a good choice because Redria gets uh, rarer units. Unbeatable, not even close, but it is very strong. Redria is also the only ID that can get four slot frame frames in normal mode, which is why all of the forces run it. And you could run it on the non Seal hunters as well. No, that's not a thing. Now, what it does have is a better chance of finding, like, armors. Armor and shields uh, on Redria. I forgot that he was on this side. Armor and shields on Redria uh, will be easier to find than their counterparts. Like, if you get a Kasami Racer from a Sinnoh Blue on Redria, it's way easier than the other IDs to get. It's like half the drop rate or something. Jesus! Nice lag, bro. I don't remember what the next wave is. Is it two Sinos? No, it's Del Depths. Then it's the two Sinos. Hasn't been that long since I've done this. I could die still to a crit, I think. Or any double hit. okay we all did different urban legends like people thought pinkle gave you better chance of getting tech discs it's not true in the dreamcast version it did give you um higher level tech discs rest to dodge yep that's another one that's not a thing Go oh, frick. That's unfortunate. I'm just going to run through this. We. The never-ending struggle for higher and higher hit percent in ultimate mode. Oh, man. I don't even like this map. Hmm. 
Not that there's a big difference between the seabed lowers. It was seabed upper that we needed to hit, and we did. Now I just never want to do this category again. Literally one attempt, and, we're, and I'm good. It's far from perfect, but definitely good enough. Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> I never, through any of my episode 2 all difficulties attempts, I never got that. That four box kill. One of the recons, or two of the recons always take target, or I'd roll low. Where the frick? There you are. What's next? I don't fucking know. Couldn't even decide what to do today. That's why I'm doing this. I can make it. I made it. Probably just play Accuracy for the rest of the stream or something. Maybe do network transmission. Fail at that. Be gone. Oh, I forgot about a hall biter. Shit. Completely slipped my mind that we were on Hallbiter map. Yeah, I mean, doing episode two all difficulties will kind of force you to learn the maps pretty quick. You have two choices, learn the maps or die. Whatever. fight or flight response. It must be Zoas. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Episode 2 is scary. I, even when I know exactly where the enemies are, it's still scary. Just because I know where they are doesn't mean I, I know exactly how they're going to behave, unfortunately. <laughs> These fuckers. Especially this fucker. And this right here, this hallway, is death in ultimate mode. Absolute nightmare. But here in normal mode, it's nothing. Just in case. I don't think I can shot these. I have to individually hit, kill them. And then, is it... Got him. We can run right through this, it's fine. Why did I shoot twice? Well... I've literally one-shot every Zoa. 
What am I doing? Habits from all difficulties. Hard to break. Yep. Saber stack go. Brrr. Brand stack, I guess, here in episode two. But it's a saber type item, right? It's all the same. Too many cutscenes. I want that sub 140. Sub 140. Sick. I will now list the bad maps that I got in this map in this run between episode one and episode two. My bad maps are Forest One, Ruins One. That's it. Those are the only two bad maps. <laughs> like fucking what? I didn't get all the best maps. To be fair, I didn't get the best central control area. I didn't get the best jungle east. Uh, I didn't... Well, I technically got the best seabed lower. Seabed lower doesn't count. I didn't get the best... Uh, either best mines map. Uh, I didn't get the best ruins 2 or 3. But they were all good. The only problems were... I'm rusty at episode one in particular. I made some mistakes in episode two, but I made more mistakes in episode one, I felt. So yeah, rusty gameplay, kind of slow on the first stack. I got bad forest one, so I had to telepipe. And I didn't get shot until the end of ruins one, I think. Yeah, it was the last room of the worst ruins one where I got a shot. And a shot would help a lot on the worst ruins one, so. If we just took out Ruins 1, if I got a shot from Volopt, or if we got a better Ruins 1, then I would be like, I'm probably not going to beat this. I could beat this, but why? <laughs> why would I? Let's just coast on the good maps. Thanks for cursing the run, Philidae. It really helps me out. I also didn't have mech guns for Volop. That's like a couple seconds. Could have saved there. Went picking it. I went checking too many weapons and mines as well. Lots of execution mistakes. But in terms of luck, it would be difficult to do better than that. By no means impossible. Not even close. But it would be tricky. Which begs the question, what do I do now? Because the plan was, you know, maybe do two of these and then do Act Razor. But I don't want it anymore. This is a good time.
Nah. Not feeling Fantasy Star Zero right now. Maybe episode three. I mean, I could do no dupe. Have you ever wanted the glitches of any percent, but with the Mesetta Reliance of Glitchless? Because that's no dupe. How many times did I get hit in this run? Like... By enemies, it was once, right? Maybe twice. I got hit by traps several times. Thanks, episode two. I got hit by that Dome Darl. I remember that. But did I get hit by any other enemy? I don't think so. One thirty nine. Sick. All right. <laughs> 